and there were a lot of varied opinions. One would say the reason why men need to set these rules, they are very important. You know, I, first of all, I do not believe in setting rules for a grown-up person. You're treating her like a baby. So you said the reason why men need to, in quotes, set these rules, end quote, is what? Mazoea. Mutazoea now. Unajua wimbo mazoea mazoea mpenzi wangu mazoea No It comes a habit wash dishes Do you think she does not recognize your position in the house Ah they they forget They forget you put part of a uh, duty roster You know the same one ukiwa fundisha no no Fuel, gari, no, they get used. Who told you unawafundisha? <laughs> you teach your wife, mukigia supermarket, ATM, dio yo, shop until you drop, sour, sour. They adopt. They are very good in adopting. So if you do something once in the house, they'll assume that you'll do it every day. No, no. They adopt to what you train them. You're training them only their dogs. No, no, no. no. Or puppies. Kuna jamali sema women look like pesa ya wanayake. Have you heard that statement? Women look like the money ya wanayake. You know me, I'm not getting you. You'll get me, don't worry. I don't know what you're saying if you train them. You train them only their puppies or their babies. A woman knows what she's supposed to do. But a woman expects you to also be accommodating when she cannot do a lot of the stuff that she's supposed to do. That's all she's asking of you. Yeah. If you she's coming, she's running late from work. There was an emergency meeting. She had to attend it. Since you're home, why don't you make dinner? That's all she's saying. Yeah. How is that Mazoyana? Mazoya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll be late every other day. And you'll be cooking. <laughs> and you'll get used. And it will be normal. And it will become part of life. Na ile siku utaacha kupika, that will be the end. They are very good in adopting. Very good. Very very good. Ndio unaonaka unaweza toa mama hapo mpeleke uluya adapt. A lady can adapt. Peleke ukambani, she adapts. The same way. Umefundisha kuosha. Bas. She's just saying, look, never I'm talk. not I, feeling well. Anazoea. She's saying, look, I'm not feeling well. Mm -hmm. Can you please do the laundry? Yeah. That's all. Mm -hmm. So men don't do these things because their wives watazoea. Watazoea. We know. We know how to do. We used to do laundry. We used to cook. We used to do everything. By the way, we used to arrange that bedroom. Ask them. Nyumba zetu zilikuwa very smart when they found us. Na siju nini natufanyi kiaga siku hizi ukiachwa siku mbili na kani kaa you know, nyumba imelipuliwa. Captain Kale said he can't even make his bed. <laughs> he, I, I, I got a headache yesterday. Yeah. Ladies, you know do you zoea these things? Mm. Mm. Is this mazoea thing mm. just a figment of your men's imagination? I mean, if he cooks once for you, do you expect him to cook every day? Yeah. Honestly. You've taught her that you are the best chapati uh, chef. You'll be cooking all chapatis. Wageni wakiwa. She'll never touch those chapatis. Utakona pika chapati. 0711-046-105 is my number. Give me a call, ladies. And it will become normal. And gentlemen, because I'd love to hear from you. Until the day you stop. If you do laundry Chaos. on one day, do you expect him to do laundry forever? Uh -huh. Because so surely that. that's not it. Yeah. Hmm. Why don't you give me a call uh -huh. on 0711 uh -huh. 046 Send me a text message to 2249 for if you want to contribute via SMS. Is there anything you've ever done once and then she expected you to do it forever? Yeah. Has, it, has that ever happened? I don't think so. She gets used. The same way you kumpeleka whiskey ama space. The day you touch kumpeleka chaos. So you rather not. Kama ni kupika ata iyo jiko sa hau fungu pitia wadirisha. 
Never teacher. Never <laughs> trainer. You know me what amazes me is how your men look at you and they see little babies or puppies that need to be trained, that need to be taught, that need to be told. Can't get it. My short code is double two four yeah. nine four. That's why, why as a man you need to be very firm. Very firm. Very, very firm. Atamea pembe. Kapsa. Kam ata kama sangino useme una pesa. Ataka mukonazo. Ukimzoesha kuna pesa kila sa. We we. My fan page on Facebook is open for business. So are my Twitter handles at it's my neck again. You are classic 105 Kenya. My hashtag is my neck. That's why we're having all these problems. Because hmm? you're not teaching them right. Hmm? I cannot believe Kenya. Unamzoesha, unamzoesha, she gets used. How and do now you, you, want, you want to stop? How do Ow. you look at a grown woman? How do you stop? <laughs> just sit and wonder sometimes why is this guy going through this? Something that's so unnecessary. Maybe he'll be deemed to be sick. But I wish him all the best. He's on the way next. So, Kenyan men are saying, ladies, that they need to train you. Guy, me, me the terms Kenyan men use. They need to train you not to expect some things from your man. Cause utamzoea. And Molimu will ask you again. Why do you look at your women who are grown people as people to train, as people to teach, like they don't have their own minds? I really have a problem with that. You see why man is, a man is ahead of the family? But they follow the head. They follow the head. <laughs> you know you're saying that, eh? With um, Robert Mugabe swag. Mm. Eh? <laughs> you're saying that with a Robert Mugabe swag. Mm. Why do you look at your women like people who, if left alone to their own devices, the world can end tomorrow? I don't like that. They are grown-ups. All she's saying is, look, I'm running late. Can you please cobble some dinner together for the kids? Because you're home and they're home and I'm not. How does that suddenly become a partner if I do it at a As That's why, Lenny, how do you stop? When she gets used to it, how do you stop? You've done it once. How does that become a habit? You'll do it twice and thrice. Comes no more. And then the day you decide you are Ujiski, that will be the day. Ha baba joki si tutengeze zile chapo zako unze wagatamu tuko hapa. Wageni wako hapo. Aki zile chapo zako. My husband makes the best chapos. Okay, okay. But let me talk to him. Say you want to go up, So why can't you cook chapos when there are guests there? Una ina mapu unaza kutengeleza chapa. Do you know how difficult it is to make chapati? If some men enjoy it, then what's the problem? Ah, it is so messy. Hmm. Tokea una salimia. Kuna simu yako una tokea ume ukogume weka niya white. Eh, we come to a construction. <laughs> Unapikia watu chapati. Kwanza unanuka machapati. Baba Shiro. Cheru yote yo say <laughs> help yeah. who? When I was paying <laughs> one million and ten cows unaccountable goods as dowry, where were you? How can I help you? Chokeka okay. huko na mafuta. Eh? Hmm? Hujo kipika chapati unafaa kupanua mumi. Why can't you help your women? Hmm? Why can't you help your women? Hujo bi bado niko pale kwa chapati. <laughs> well, we want best, you see, many remember there was a time mom wasn't feeling well and my dad made dinner for us. Me and my siblings laughed hard at him because we believe cooking should only be done by women. Chance many the truth remains that no good wife will be happy if the husband cooks food for her. They derive their pleasure in doing those things for us. But then women love men who know how to cook, eh? Here, ah, they love. Kelvin Otokyo is saying, don't do anything in the house. Let her do it herself. Mazoyano ni mbaya. Why can't you help your women? How selfish can you be? Good morning. And good morning. Yes. No, once in a while. Why should we do that? Well, why, be why? You, because you're in, a, you're in a partnership. 
No, don't talk about partnership. As the, the main purpose of a man is to provide. Right? And once we provide, Mwanamke, she's there to give us service, good services. Iron, do everything to us. Kupiga rangi viatu, kila kitu. Ati, Amamaina. ati yata kukupigia viatu rangi? Exactly. Ume... Maina, ushai, mimi nikifanya kazi ya nyumba, lazima, una, have you heard of someone called homogamous? Who's homogamous? Eh, eh, do you know what is that? No. That is a person who have both, eh, uh, 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 male and female. Eh. Uh. Um, you understand? Yes. Mimi ni kimsaidia kazi la hana niwe yo design, lakini I cannot do that. So hold on, you expect her to polish your shoes? Exactly, everything. Everything. And if, what, what happens when she's not feeling well? Will you cook? Hakuna kitu kama iyo. So what happens if she's not well? Hello? Aki Kenyan men. Hello? Morning, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. This is Mama G from Langata. Yes, Mama G. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a new caller. I would like to contribute to your debate today. Please, karibu, karibu, karibu. Unajua, yes, since yesterday, women, it's your kids have been with Kingangi all along. Uh. Yeah, no, these women calling, you you can hear from the way they're talking, they're even shaking their voices. Do you think that's an, really a an young woman? Uh -huh. No. These are all the women I think who have been playing around as they reach their age where they find nobody else to take care of them. That they had to go to these other young jobless men who will do all sorts of things for them. Huh. How can a grown man sit down, quash a bibi, kupika a chapo? That's a half-baked woman. We were groomed differently to take care of our husbands. Let me do everything. If, in case, he has to be in the kitchen or take care of the children, maybe I'm sick. If he has to cheat, let him cheat on anything different, not from something I can't do as a woman. That's, That's a total no for me. If he's going to cheat, let him cheat on? Something which I can't provide as a woman. If he has to cheat, let him cheat on something different. Not that because he can cook while I'm watching TV or he's helping in the housework. Really, surely who does that? Even me, Nikipata, my brother cooking while the wife is sitting. That's total nonsense. I'm, which can I can I this time round? Yes. Salimi amolimu. I'm a salimika. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, trying to wonder. Why Kenyan men feel they cannot help you in your household chores once in a while because utawazoea. They say they must trail you like you're a puppy. They must teach you. <laughs> they must instill in you like you're two years old what you're supposed to do. So if you fall sick and you've got children in the house, hata pika, jiwe jipange. These men can make you go mad. Igua. <laughs> you know I'm looking at Twitter, I'm trying to wonder where do we even start? Douglas Kipeke is saying that there is a caller who called in last year and told you he had to kick his wife and daughters to start them up. Imagine wamezoea, unawapikia. Wanafika unaoga na kuwatch TV, wakikungoja upike. Tusizoeane. Kanga Justin Kanga is saying, Maina, it starts with, could you please do this for me? Next time, she drops the please and says, could you do this for me? Next, she drops it all and it becomes, do this for me. <laughs> That's the end of the man in the house. Utakaliwa kabisa. 
Felix Agolo, Mr. President, said, uh, on behalf, on my behalf, please one man on my behalf. I entered marriage with a high concentration of romance. I cooked, I washed dishes and utensils. These days it's my duty. And that's how I prove my love. Men do not do chores when they move in. Me, I feel like I can pull my hair out if I had some. Hello, Maina. Morning. Morning, sir. Yeah. Some years back, I was so like, you know, I, I could think like uh, I had a woman sometime back, that is back in 2013. Uh. And being that I believed of being romantic naturally. Uh. So I would uh, try to prepare some meals for her, that is breakfast once for a while. Yeah. At times, I would even help some, you know, when she washes the clothes, I can have them hanged out in the liner. Yeah. Uh -huh. We can go out for break, maybe to buy some, you know, something from the shop, maybe supper or breakfast. Yeah. But as time we went to buy, this woman would wake up from the bed at exactly maybe 11 or sometimes at noon. Eh? Uh. And then what would ask me is that he's tired, I need to prepare something for her. I would do, do the same. Eh? Yeah. As time we went to buy, you know, God blessed us with the baby boy. Eh? Yeah. That is now when hell broke loose. Yeah. Uh. After delivering, I would do everything of which I would understand because he has not cover up, cover up. Uh. So I would uh, do the washing, do the nappies for the baby after even for two, three months. Eh? Yeah. This condition don't change even after uh, getting better, getting well, I mean. You co she so continued she thinking you're going to wash the baby, do the diapers and everything. Differently, I would do that. She would ask me to change the diapers for the baby. She'd be like, oh, baby, I don't know, honey, do this for me, please. Oh, you're so romantic, you see? And I was like, oh, this is too much. In fact, even affected my, my, my self-esteem as a man in the house, minor. It is really wrong for any man to do this. So how old is that baby now? The baby right now is almost five years. It's five years right now. Now, who, who has the baby, you or her? No, no, we separated. So, who, so who has the baby? We separated minor, and you know what? Uh. After separation, she called me and she was telling me, you know what, Justice? Never, never, never handle any African woman like you did to me. Wow. Minor. She warned me. She told me an African, an, an African woman shouldn't be treated like such. You cannot do laundry for an African woman, prepare for her breakfast, cook for her. She keep on saying to the shop. In fact, I would do it like, okay, I loved her. I was just there to help her do some laundry. We are close together, a balcony. She would send me to the shop. I was like, this is too much for me. Minor. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. That is how we train them. It is how we train them. Okay. Yes, and even love so most are uh, uh, kids and men. Kids and men never try that. They can never. They know how to send the boundary, whether you are sick or not. You can never find a kiss you might do, kiss you might do, like a kind of trash and helping how many are there. It is wrong. Most of us who love to treat these men like, you know, we love them so much, we try to help them out. But the moment you do it today, do it tomorrow, do it on three days, in fact, it comes, it comes like you should be doing it. It is wrong. It is wrong. So, man, are you saying, I'm telling you, the African men, all tongues, Kenyan men, Kenyan men, no, please stop blaming Kenyan men for no good reason. We would love to love our women, like, you know, helping them out, being romantic and, you know, making them our world. But they are not ready for this. Which, and, and, and some even fucking our self esteem as men. It is wrong. Set the boundaries. Let women do all they're supposed to do. Let men also stick to their role and responsibility. Thank you. Okay.